This is the 1992 Highest Camper Toy Hauler. This one is a four wheel drive. It has the 2L Toyota 2.4 liter diesel four cylinder. This one's in extremely great shape. Um, it has very, very low miles. It has 49,048 miles. That's super, super clean. That's the outside of it. This one does have the locking hubs. And it also has these beautiful alloy, uh, 16 inch alloy wheels with all terrain tires. Yeah, it's very clean. It does have uh, some cosmetic flaws. Like it's got a small little scratch right here from probably a little tree limb. Um, it didn't go through the fiberglass or anything like that. It's just a really small scratch. It's got a couple little small scratches up top. Um, and on the side. Right here through just the, the plastic. Uh, not the plastic. The, yeah, the decals. The decals have scratches. The fiberglass is in good shape though. No scratches or nothing like that. Um, you know, on, on the side. But it does have a couple touch-up spots right here. And right here um, uh, but it doesn't leak any water or anything like that um, it's in good shape on this one also the back does lift up which is cool and that's where you'd put your motorcycle in which I'll turn the light on here in a second on it and show you the inside also that's a cool little cover you could literally sit down right here on the tailgate if it's raining and you won't get wet. Cause that uh, covers you up right there. Uh, I'm gonna also show you all the underneath real quick. Brought my flashlight with me. I'll grab it real quick. <clears throat> That's yeah, very clean underneath, as you can see. It's in pretty good shape. It's a basic, uh, you know, basic thirty-year-old uh, vehicle. You know, does have a tiny bit of surface rust, but nothing major. The frame and everything is all good, and it does have the adjustable shock suspension. You can adjust it on that pink little knob at the bottom on the front for the comfort ride it's power steering um, it's in very good shape let me show you all that on this side it's in pretty good shape it does have a little bit of surface for us but nothing major ain't no holes or nothing like that For 30 year old vehicle, it's in very good shape. <laughs> Nothing here is rusted out or anything like that. That's the fuel tank, that's the exhaust. See, everything is in pretty good shape. It's the frame, see, everything's solid. in very good shape. See here, it's all fiberglass. It also has the air ride suspension right there, which that controls the ride height. You can raise it and lower it, it's pretty cool. And it's also for comfort control. And you got the adjustable comfort shocks too as well, which is nice. Yeah, you could raise it up in the back if it's a little bit low. Cause the front's you know, got pretty good ground clearance. And if you raise the back up, you can go through some stuff. 
back here. That's the generator back there. That box. And that's the spare tire. Everything's in good shape. Not rusted through or anything like that. Yeah, up front, it just has some small surface rust back here. It's in some pretty good shape back here. So. Let's go to And back here's the generator. That runs off that control over there, which I'll show you over here in a second. Oh, yes, yeah, back here. That's the fuel tank for the generator. Just got a good size fuel tank. And here, that it is it. It's a Dometic generator. It's 12 volt. And I'll take a picture of that here in a second. But yeah, everything's in pretty good shape. Ain't no rust holes or nothing like that. Yeah, everything's in pretty clean shape. Looks like all the brake, emergency brake lines, all been replaced. Yeah, it's got uh, two, two spare tires, which is pretty cool. All right. Yeah, it does have some touch-up spots. Put this. In here. Um, like right here it's been touched up also right here it's been touched up a couple touch up spots um, other than that it's in pretty decent shape also been touched up right here I guess where they had a scratch or something it's been touched up right there It's got a little bit of paint fade right here, but nothing major. It's no rust or anything like that. That's where you put the diesel in. And I believe that's where you put the water in right here. It has the AC unit up top. And it does have some scratches here just on the, what do you call it, the graphics. Yeah, other than that, it uh, is pretty good. All right, I'm going to turn the lights on on the inside. I'm going to go ahead and start it up. That way uh, the battery um, doesn't drain. Yeah, she fires right up. And... Um, there's no uh, smoke or nothing like that. As you can see, it's lost. And um, all the lights do work on the inside. Just hit these two levers and everything fires up. And it's real nice. This is the driver door panel. It's in very good shape. It's got power windows. Um, that's in very good shape, very clean. And no rust or nothing like that. It's in pretty good shape. Same here, ain't no rust or anything like that. It's in good shape. It's the dashboard. It's also in good shape, not cracked or anything like that. Um, it's pretty clean. the seats um, this section folds in right here so it's in very good shape headliner also is very clean not torn along with the uh, sun visors are in good shape as well yeah, everything's super clean the 
driver's side. This door panel also in very good shape, very clean, not torn. And as you can see, no rust holes or nothing like that. It's all in pretty good shape. It's the driver's seat also, no wear, tear, or nothing like that. It's the carpet's very clean, clutch pedals, everything. It is in kilometers, so it has 79,938 kilometers, which is uh, 49,048 miles. Here's all the controls. It's pretty cool. All the AC and heat controls. Everything is in good shape. There's the gear shifter, fast speed. There's the two-wheel drive, uh, two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive selector. Right there. Then you can lock the hubs in too as well. So, it's pretty nice. Also, the center console does come down for you to get in and out of it. If you have to get in a hurry, you gotta go. And you can also strap your paperwork down or whatever. And um, you got the cup holder right there. So. Everything's in good shape. Alrighty. Let's go on inside. Um, on the door, it has a deadbolt, which is nice and it works. So you get the open and close right there, deadbolt. So got the screen door. Um, this one does have the motorcycle bracketing. So you can put a you know motorbike in here like an enduro or something and then you could you know anchor it down with all those anchors it's got anchors everywhere and even on top let me close this tailgate um you you can also take a shower right here um this right here um you know you could use it as a shot you know as a shot to take a shower the, the sink faucet it's retractable um, you'd have to put a curtain out here and you can put it up here and then you can have a shower outside um, it does have hot water and it runs off the engine so if the engine's hot you will have hot water which is cool that's cool how that works um, all right let me close this up i'll show you all the inside there's the handle and it also locks. So you got the lock right here. Just lock, and you can lock it from outside. All that works. There's the back of it. You got the two windows in the back and the hinges. It's pretty cool. And this is the inside. how it is um it's got this uh, wonderful like leather it's really good leather right here so it's leather everywhere uh, that's all the controls for everything for the lights you hit that turn it on off see everything works and this is your um what do you call it the that's to raise the suspension up and down. Just hit that and go up and down with it. So then if you have to lower it, just hit it and it'll drop the, drop the rear down, which is pretty cool. Everything works, it's nice. It's got the 110 plugs here and here. Um, you could use them when you fire up the generator. And that's the fire up the generator right here. Just hit the start and it turns right on. Everything works. Uh, we just changed the oil on it, so it's got all new oil. So it's good to go. Just fire it up. It runs. Uh, the generator runs off of uh, gasoline, um, but the Wabasto heater runs off of uh, the diesel. So it has an auxiliary heater, which I'll show you all here in a second. Yeah, back here. That's all. Um, this here is storage, so you can store stuff here. And then you, know, you got the storage here. That's also the 110 plug right there. Which is cool. Uh, 
We got the curtains right here. Yeah, curtains on all the windows and you can put the curtain right there for total privacy. So it's nice. <clears throat> also this is the fridge and the freezer. It runs off 12 volt. And um, as you can see, that's the anchors for the motorcycle. You can put it right here, diagonal. And then you can strap it to that, right there, and right there, right there, right there, there and there. So, yeah. Uh, this is a small uh, bench seat slash couch. Um, you can fold it all the way down. It makes a bed for a really, really tiny person. Um, if you wanted more. Uh, bedding you can buy uh, uh, foam pads to put over here if you needed another bed low um, but you do have that bed up top which I'll show you all here in a second under here is double boss the heater Just to get it somehow I'll show you all let me get the flashlight. That's the Wabasto heater, as you can see. That runs off the diesel. Uh, you know, it's tapped into the lines, into the fuel line. So it runs super quiet. Really, really quiet. And that's the control for it. And then there's the AC controls right there and the heat, you have AC and heat up top. Um, that runs off the generator, so you can have AC and heat three, uh, two different ways. You can have the AC and heat that runs off of the actual uh, motor when you fire it up, and then you have um, heat that runs off the Obasto, and this also has AC and heat. And that runs off the generator, which is pretty cool. Um, you got storage compartments here up top. And there as well, extra curtain. That's pretty cool. And then we got an extra compartment for storage here as well. And uh, that's where the batteries are. And the inverter, so yeah, all that works. Everything works good. And they're all brand new batteries all the way around. And the uh, engine battery is also new as well. And that's the climate control for the, I believe for the, for the AC unit up top too as well. Got a little bit of walking room right here. Um, and this is the bed. Um, it, it is uh, retractable, so what you want to do is you want to come here and pull that lever. And then just pull it. Um, what I do is I'll pull, pull that out and slide this one. Both hands. Give a second. Push that one forward. Slide that one out. Hang on. Give me a second. I need both hands. hard to do with one hand and that's the bed um i can fit up there and i'm 6'3 so it's got plenty of room up there oh so you got the exhaust fan right there which is pretty nice it's freaking huge so that's also a major plus so if you wanted to have a breeze you know at night time just turn on the fan and it'll give you a good breeze in here That's how it is. So. Alrighty. Let me um, put that up and we'll go for a ride.
Now you can ride with the bed open if you wanted to, but I just rather put it up. It ain't gonna damage nothing, but it's really easy to put up. Just slide it, and that's it. And you come over here and hit this little lever, and you're done. That's it. It won't go nowhere. Alrighty, let's go for a ride. Dark quick out here. Ready. I forgot that light. I got a dome light up here. I should, in theory, have one. I guess it doesn't work. I gotta fix that. It does have a dome light. I just got the better. I guess the bulb probably burned out. Let's go for it. Now this uh, Toyota Hyas has a clean Tennessee title, which can be registered anywhere in uh, America, except for uh, California or Maine. Those are two, the two only places that uh, it's a little difficult to register um, vehicles nowadays. Other than that, that's the only two places. Um, this vehicle is registered to us, Dalton Pike Motors LLC, here in Cleveland, Tennessee. Uh, we are a used car dealer that specializes in right-hand drive vehicles. And um, we've been in business for about 10 years out here. You know, we, we try to take care of all of our customers and give them good good high quality products um, since we are a dealer uh, we can write you out a 30-day tag so you can drive this home immediately if you wanted to fly in um, you know, just uh, let me know uh, you can also fly into the Chattanooga Tennessee Airport uh, we will meet you there you do not have to get a rental car or anything like that we'll straight meet you at the Chattanooga Tennessee Airport um, you can fly in, we can uh, do all the paperwork and everything, you can drive it home. Also, we do deliver, so if you want it delivered to your door, just let us know. Um, delivery costs are not too bad nowadays, even though this is a bigger vehicle, it's still not too pricey. Um, so just let us know if you want it delivered to your door. Also, if you want to check this out, we do welcome uh, you to come down here and check it out. And we also welcome third-party inspections. So if you want to get a third-party inspector to come out here and check it out, you're more than welcome to. Um, that ain't no big deal. For payment, uh, we accept cash, cashier check, money order, bank wire transfer, uh, credit card. Uh, we do accept personal check, but we hang on to the vehicle and the title until the check clears. So, uh, yeah, just let us know uh, what you want to do. And we do have financing options available too as well. Uh, that's uh, 50 mile an hour right there. And that j I just put it in fifth gear, so it does pretty well. go 60 65 mile an hour no problem that is a little bit bigger vehicle um so you know it's not super fast but it will do 60 65 mile an hour no problem uh, since it has the four cylinder diesel motor it is uh, very good on fuel and it is also a very very reliable motor that 2l is the 2l and 3l is one of the best motors ever made they're really, really good motors Uh, they ride pretty good. Yeah, it's actually, we're going a little bit faster in the speedometer because uh, 
we put a little bit bigger uh, wheels and tires on here. So that's about 65 right here. And she'll do it all day, no problem. It's not redlining or nothing like that. Um, runs pretty good. That's uh, about that's 68 right there. About 67, 68 because of the bigger wheels. Yeah, it doesn't heat up and everything works. It's nice. So. Yeah, for more information, you can call or text 423-331-6050. Uh, call or text anytime. And just let me know. Alrighty, uh, thank y'all and have...